Good morning, everybody. Mike from LA1 here, and happy 4th of July, everybody. Yes, hope you guys had a great Independence Day. I did say had. By the time this video goes up, more than likely, it'll, it'll probably be passed. So I hope you guys had a great 4th of July. I hope you guys shot off a lot of fireworks, unless you're my neighbors and you're acting like complete idiots firing them off during the middle of the day. <laughs> complete idiots. <laughs> so it's going to be a good day. We, we're in for a good show today as we celebrate... America's birthday. <laughs> that guy knows what he's doing. Delete, delete, delete. It's gonna be a good day. That means red, wearing red, white, and blue, so it's gonna be a good day. But the other one is addressed to the town of Calico. Uh, get my scruff, there's yours. All right, this other one, listen here, it says, from the office of the Honorable Governor Benjamin N. Parker Stone to the citizens of Calico, greetings and felicitations. In honor of Calico's reaching the formidable milestone of 77 years as a township, I have instructed my agents to place a special and historical gift aboard a locomotive of the Calico Railroad arriving Calico Depot today at 12 noon. Congratulations and salutations. Signed, Governor Parker Stone. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, that's some great news. Uh, hey, listen, folks, I want to make sure you're all there with the 1210 train. That's not the only thing that's coming in. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So be over here on the, uh, at the depot at 12 noon today so we can see that gift when it comes in. I'm telling you, this could be history in the making. You have no idea. Yeah, all right, well, I gotta go tell the mayor. Y'all, let's come on, go with me down to town hall. Well, we're gonna come with you. I wanna make sure everybody knows about this. All right, come on. Yep. It concerns everybody in town. Yep, yeah, come on now. Gather around, gather around. We got news. This concerns every citizen of Calico. Come on, come on, down folks. Here. Come on in here. Come right on over here. We got folks. some big She can't kill us if they're all here, right? Big news today. She can't kill us if they're all watching. Uh, gather oh. around. Get get down. Down. Get on up I am here. going to summon a crowd. Please cover your ears. from the office of the Honorable Governor Benjamin N. Parker Stone uh, to the citizens of Calico, greetings and felicitations. In honor of Calico's reaching the formidable milestone of 77 years as a township, he says, I have instructed my agents to place a special and historical gift aboard a locomotive of the Calico Railroad arriving Calico Depot today at 12 noon. Congratulations and salutations. Signed, Governor Parker Stone. Sake, Scruff, we have one Founders Day where you don't cause a bunch of trouble with your family. No, now, Milton, this is not trouble. You have not seen trouble yet. Ooh, enough of all that. What do you say we go down and tell the sheriff? Oh, yes, well, yeah, absolutely. Well, we're coming with you. I want to make sure everybody knows about this. Scruff, you are more than welcome to accompany us, but please, I beg of you, can we have one Founders Day, just one, where you and your family don't stir everything all up? I really wish that I could promise you that, Milton. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We're going to tell the sheriff. Guess we're going this way. Gather right. Everybody, you're going over to see the sheriff. 
Sheriff. Oh, this is big news. We got news uh -huh. for the sheriff. I want to get reelected, not even do anything. <laughs> oh, this is good. Oh, my word, I'm so happy. Ain't nothing going to ruin this. Hey, everybody, waiting to buy ribs. We got big news. Big news. Gather around. Gather around. How the noble gun sell us? We got big news. They're going to tell the sheriff. Hey, everybody, we're going to tell the sheriff. Big news. Come on, everybody. Come on, folks. We're going over to see the sheriff. Big news. Big My news. word, this is good. <laughs> hey, everybody, we got big news. We're going to go tell the sheriff. Come on, everybody. Oh, my word. Folks, we're heading over to the sheriff's office. We got big news. Gather around. Gather around. We got big news. Oh, my word, this finally, we got real big news. It's from the governor. Hey, that beauty, move your fanny. I'm getting up here. Oh, my word, I feel like a little boy right now. Citizens of Calico, greetings and felicitations. In honor of Calico's mm. reaching the formidable milestone of 77 years as a township, he says, I have instructed my agents to place a special and historical gift aboard a locomotive of the Calico Railroad arriving Calico Depot today at 12 noon. Congratulations and salutations. Signed, Governor Parker Stowe. From the governor? No, but from somebody equally important to this town. Oh, for Pete's sake, Mr. Scrub, will you stop talking in riddles? Sheriff, I think we ought to form a volunteer guard to protect whatever's coming in on that train. Or to protect us from what's coming in on that train. Yeah. All right, enough of all that, enough of that. <clears throat> oh, yes, I, I also think we should form an honor guard of brave citizens to protect the gift from the governor when it arrives on the train. Mr. De uh, thank you, Mr. Deputy Mayor. Folks, we're going to need your help. Meet us right back here outside the sheriff's office at 11.55 today so we can go pick up the gift from the governor off the train. So meet us right back here at 11.55 today. <laughs> and don't forget, everybody, it's Founders Day. we got a lot of fun planned, and the next activity that's going to happen is a shooting contest. Yeah. woo -hoo! shooting gallery led by our very own Abigail Dynamite. Yeah. Anyone in town think they good with the iron? Step on up and prove it. Otherwise, be back here at 1155 to be part of the honor guard. Happy Father's Day, everybody! Yeah. We'll see you! Joe, we've got a note from the governor saying he's bringing in a gift. My deputy thinks it's a good idea we put together a volunteer guard to protect that gift. And here you are. Look at that. I appreciate that. All right. So we need all your help. What we're going to do is we're going to go pick up that gift from the train station take it down to town hall and open it up and see what it is, all right? You guys ready? Yes. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to form two lines. Let's start right here. Two lines right here. One here and one here. One here and one here. One here and one here. Two straight lines. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, so, many, so many great citizens to help us today. All right. All right. All right. All right, here's what we're going to do. Uh, go ahead and pass that off to uh, somebody you love. That's nice. All right, hang on. You're going to hold it straight up and down. Straight up the sky, just like this. Up the sky. Hey, right there. We are ready. Are we ready? We are ready. All right, now, to look impressive and to warn off any bad guys, it's always good to look tough. How we do that is by marching. So let's practice marching in place, everybody. Let's see this. Oh, you guys look great. Well, he looks like he's going on out now. But he's right there. All right, now, are you ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. We're marching. Let's go. Let's go to town hall to go from here. Oh, we oh, yo. Thank 
That is a good one. Yeah, you're fine. It's the honor guard, Levi. 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 All right, hold it up right there. I think we should just go right down there, Sheriff. All right. Come I got on, a feeling everybody. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Head down to the train station. Meet that train. Uh, you ready? At your leisure, sir. All right. Let's go. Come on, everybody. We're heading this way. An honor guard escorting all of us. Oh, I feel taller. Oh, I'm happy. So, do you have any idea what this gift could be, Mr. Howell? I have no idea, but I hope it's expensive. Oh, my word. Thank you. You too. Word of the Lord. Well, hello there, Mr. Handsome. Oh, I like the cut of your gift. Oh, my word. I hurt you, my brain. Oh, no. No, okay, good. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I like you. It's a bank on standby for the gift or coop. It's a the vault big enough for the, whatever this thing could be. I don't need no note right now, sir. Not now. Are you trying to pass secret notes? No, I got it from uh, from Coop just now. Coop Walker. Hurry before he does, Barbara. We're almost there. You smell out in the air, people? That's destiny. I don't know. Oh, I'm excited. I don't smell destiny. That's not food. And I'm hungry already. That pistol of yours makes me a lot braver, sir.
got a symbol and a date and... Whoa! Y'all are red! Ain't no name on that either, Kenny! Oh my goodness, what else we got in there? Yo, I think that was... A candlestick! With the cryptic numbers on the... Oh, that's weird. No, no name on this either, Kenny! Okay. Oh, what else we got? This, this one, hold on. Uh, it's true that something here has a name Wait, on this it, is, this. Look at this! From the early bird ranch. Three horse shoes from a three-footed horse. Ooh. No name on that neither. No, a stapler. That's it. Last Which thing. Old and there's no staples, and there's no name on that either. Okay, oh, no, no, no. Now, see here, I find the lack of names on all these items to be pretty frustrating, so uh, I hereby think that we should put together a committee whose sole purpose is to research into these items and our founders to discover our original founders here. I think that is an excellent idea. I second that motion, and I will head such a committee. How about we give the Giselle here one more round of applause? Yeah. These are going to be on display in town hall all day. You want to welcome to stop. Happy Founders found Day, day everyone. Hold on a minute now. I was thinking we could add that word now. Oh, ma'am. <laughs> I hardly think this is the time of the place. Well, actually, I think it's the perfect time, considering it involves everybody. Now, all right, I know I have a checkered past, and I always haven't had the most shiniest of reputations, so I'm sure you all are wondering why after all this time I've decided to come back to Calico. We are. All right, well, I've come to finally collect what's mine. Now, sitting in that bank down yonder is the deed to the land that you all are standing on, and that deed is in my uh -oh. name. Uh, actually, me, Mom. Uh, 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 that deed ain't in the bank no more. Um, uh, it, it, well, uh... What happened to it, bro? Uh, uh, I can answer that. Yes. Uh, the, uh, funny story. I thought you were dead. Rest your soul! Down your drink. So, being the next of kin, and the surviving kin and all, naturally, I crossed your name off the deed and wrote my name on it. That's right. Well, hand it over, on. Uh, he don't have it neither. Um... Uh, it was sold by the town to a prospector named Peg Leg Cinch. Now hold on, you had no right to sell my land. I want my deed back. <laughs> this is not possible. That deed was sold to Peg Leg and Ophelia Cinch at a time when your family was incarcerated. Scary <laughs> laugh. <laughs> hold on, now let me get this straight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you all Whoa. lost my property and you all sold it? Now, I don't think I need to remind you that I've been known to have quite a temper. Let me tell you, oh I'm not oh happy. Mm -hmm. So let me tell you how this is going to work. I'm thirsty from a long train ride, so I'm going to go get a drink while you all get my deed back. And if I don't have that piece of paper in my hand in two hours, well, then I'm going to take it back. Understood? Uh -oh. Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Yes, ma I'm going to need the drink. Two hours. Yes, ma'am. Uh, folks, yes, folks, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I'll talk to her. We'll work out a compromise or something. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that, Abigail. <laughs> hey, that was interesting. <laughs> okay, everybody, let's not forget this is still Founders Day. We got a few mysteries to solve here at Town Hall, and we got some more fun activities planned. In fact, our very own fire marshal over here, Fluke, is going to be leading the fire bucket brigade. Practice for fire. Right down the road there's going to be a lot of splashy fun in just a few moments. Y'all want to join him for that? Otherwise, get out there and celebrate Calico, the, the jewel of the West. Yeah. Good <laughs> night, yeah. yeah. everybody. Fire Brigade, which we'll cover next week, along with the shooting competition next week. So we covered as well. But now, I think it's time for us to help out someone driving the bank. Today, we'll be showing up Ms. Violet and her group. And you know, I will not be in charge of the uh, robbery scheme. I'm going to put this on our wrist so that if we need the map, we've got it. Oh, and here's my other friend. She's here to help us. You need a little help, Miss Violet? Sure, you can help too. Emily. Yeah, it's time to go. One, two, three, four, five. So we have to use the key to combine it. Yeah. Okay. She's about to sign the door. Are you ready? Do you want to get your niece? Yeah. She's right there. Oh, yeah. Hi. Do you want to come with us? It's time to go. <laughs> Okay, everybody, now let me grab my firearm. You grab your pony. Okay. Yeah. Woo! What are we doing? Uh, now, don't worry, we're not going to shoot it. We're just going to use it to look intimidating. That one's awesome. That's pretty 
Where did you get that? Don't worry, Zoe. There's nothing in it. Okay. Are we ready? Never Remember, look real casual. Look real casual. Oh, in other words, act like Emery Mund. We're just uh, casually going over to the bank. No, okay. mind us. We're going bear hunting. Don't mind us. Yeah, that's what they told me in there. And then I thought, towels don't. Yeah. It's time to go. Where are we going? To the bank. It's time to go on our hike. Time for us to go bear hunting. It's time to go on our Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. And I... That's weird. All right, here we go, everybody. That's, Hi that's there. A... We're just heading over to the oh. bank. <laughs> okay, everybody. Wait a minute, I just thought of something. I just heard of something, the Violet. What? The Mayfields are gonna rob the bank too. Oh no. Can you go to the bank and see if they're there? I don't, I'm gonna stay back here because we don't know what's gonna happen. All right, everybody. That is Scrubberford. Try to warn you. Coop knew about robbing the bank at the Mayfields. What are we going to say when we get to the vault? Eureka? Ladies, unite! Or something like that. Don't scream. What do you think? Or give us the nugget. Ladies, unite! Kenny! <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Trying 
That's like half the town. All right, man. And against my better judgment, I'm letting you all off with a warning. Don't let me catch you doing it again. And seeing as the bank wasn't real around, so... Wait a minute, Abigail! What? Abigail that, what? Hold on now. Sorry, excuse me. Coming through. Abigail! What? Emergency, the bank has been robbed. What? What? Whoa, whoa. What? How'd they get in? I think they got it through the window. Oh, I've said this before and I'll say it again. Who puts a window in a bank vault? Well, Coop, did you see what they look like? Sir, no, sir. Well, well who could it have been? Not, Not us. us. Well, finally. Oh, wait a minute. No. I know. Oh. Sir, I'll miss you in the ward for the rest of Phyllis. Mom Mayfield. What? Hold on, so wait a minute. You don't got no proof for evidence. I got a gal who came into town who has a history of robbing banks demanded that we hand over the deed of this town in two hours or she take the law into her own head. Right. Sheriff, you go get me Phyllis Mayfield. Consider it done. All right, All right. folks, you heard Miss Dynamite. We need each and every one of you to help us out. We need your help by drawing up some wanted posters. You can yeah. do that over at the bank or at the sheriff's office on Main Street. That's right, folks. We're also going to put together a posse to bring that outlaw to justice, all right? So we need your help. Be at the sheriff's office at 2.30 today with your help and my deputy here. Put together a posse, and we're going to put that criminal behind bars. Are you with me? Yeah! yeah. We'll see you at 2.30, everybody. See you at 2.30, folks. Word is dismissed. Yeah, Percy's here as well, by the way. Oh no! Everybody! Fire in the hole! Cover your ears! Cover your ears! Cover your ears, folks! Cover your ears! Cover your ears! Gather around, everybody! Gather around! Come on in, everybody! Come on in, not too close, like folks! Sheriff, I think that's about as much as we're going to get. Everybody back up just a pinch. Back up just a pinch. That way the sheriff can uh, speak. All right, y'all. Now, first of all, i got to tell you, it does my heart so good to see so many great citizens to bring this outlaw to justice. So, first of all, give yourself a round of applause. 
Now, in case you don't know, we have a warrant for the rest of Ma Mayfield. Ma Phyllis Mayfield. Robin the Nugget out of the gold out of the bank. Yeah. Do we even know who what she looks like? Yeah. Well, I know totally what she looks like. Okay, so we're gonna find her. Don't you worry. Don't worry. Alright, so now so can we go find her? We're gonna put together a posse, which is you guys. But before we do that, we need to swear you in as deputies, all right? So I need everybody to raise your right hand. Everybody raise your right hand. All right, everybody, raise your right hand. I already did this. You're on the right. You're on the right. He's right. the left, left, left. That's all right. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. Right hand. After you, deputy. I promise. I promise. You uphold the laws of Calico. I uphold the laws of Calico. To be truthful. I promise to be truthful. Brave. Brave. And kind. And kind. So help me. So help me. Now to seal the deal, I need to hear a great big loud yeehaw. Ready? One, two, three. Yeehaw! Everybody give yourselves an hour. Nice group today. We're going to do it in a very orderly fashion. We're going to split up into two groups. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Whoa, what? Let's watch. I was over at the saloon having a drink. And guess who was in there? Ma Mayfield. Ma Mayfield. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go, everybody. Follow us. Oh, Flint! You brought the whistle? There we go. You brought the whistle? Mm -hmm. We got a great group, great group. <laughs> Come on, great group. Okay, all right, we'll get them out. All right, one. Come on, you slow folks. We're not going on a picnic. Well, that sounds fun like right now. Baby. All right, everybody, listen up. It's very important at this point that you stay behind me and my deputies. And get fired, all right? Just in case gunfire breaks out and those bullets go running by us, they don't get by you guys, okay? You good with that? Yeah. I like that. Great people, all right. Now, you ready? What do we want? Justice! That's right, I didn't hear you. What do we want? Justice! Let's go get some. <laughs> Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Stay, did you hear what I just said? Stay behind me. Stay, Stay behind the sheriff. All right, here we go. Stay back behind the sheriff, folks. Take care. My closet's on front row seat. I want to play a restroom. I need you guys to bring shackles up, right? Want some popcorn? Wait, where are you going to meet him? Where are we supposed to go with the shackles? All right, I'll call you out. All right. All right, let's hold it up right here. Hold it up, right here. Be careful, deputy. Oh boy. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. All right. Cover your ears. Loud noise. Cover your ears. Good work, 
Yes, Stephanie, give yourself a big yeehaw. Yeehaw! Put your hands up where I can see them all. Oh! Works every time. All right, All right, let me have those shackles. Let me have, let me have. All right, everybody, let's get this outlaw behind bars where she belongs and meet us down to town hall. Come on, we got a trial to do. Come on. All right. Thank you. She's turning herself in, she's turning herself in. After you, Miss Dynamite? Oh, good, oh, good, 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 good second. We got her. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's got to be a fair way to decide this. Come on, Kenny. We got her. <laughs> We got him! It was an awful lot of shooting for one person. Lucy, 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 Lucy. Well, what do you expect? The rest of the Mayfields try to make her try to get her to get a get a getaway. All right. I couldn't. I don't know. This team right here is for Abigail Dynamite. Did you see what happened? It's amazing no one got shot. Hey, you step back for me. Step back. Everybody 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 step back. 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 This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Tournament presented. Thank you. Nice to see people now in the travel community. Read the charges. Phyllis Mayfield, you are hereby charged with the crime of robbing the Miners Bank of Calico and for stealing Peg Leg's giant gold nugget with a value of priceless. <laughs> All right, you heard the charges. How do you please? All right, now, you're looking at somebody who's made mistakes. I I've done things that I ain't proud of, but I ain't that no more. Now the only Wait, reason I've come back into talk. this town is to get what's rightfully mine. The deed to the town. That's all I want. So I plead not guilty. Well, whoa. Whoa. Quiet. Quiet. Otherwise it's my choice and my choice only. All right. Now, well, I need you listening. You got to be a good jury here, okay? Now, you heard the defendant's plea. How do you find her? Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Ah. Do you find her innocent or guilty? Not guilty! She didn't steal any gold nugget. That's right. I did. What? Flint, why on earth would you do such a thing? I got this letter earlier today from a assaying facility out in Oregon. Now I sent them a sample of Peg Leg's nugget, and this here note says that that sample came back positive as fool's gold. What? That's right. All the gold y'all been finding around town, all the gold in the mine, all of it is fool's gold. 
found out. I just didn't have the heart to tell y'all that the whole town is poor. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. I just didn't want you guys to have to live through this. Shackle me there, deputy. Uh, deputy, uh, shackle her and... Oh, Flynn, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to lock you up. Well, I don't know what for, but I... Can you stop that? Can you, what? Can you, can you, will you take me instead? What? what? Is there something in the world that we should know about? Thank you. He didn't do anything. He didn't even steal anything that was worth something. He was just trying not to let the town's heart be broken. He's a good man. He don't deserve to go to jail. I spent half my life behind bars. Just take me instead. Yay! Wow! Uh, uh, all right, uncheck him in. And shake locks! Oh no, let him go. Let, let's just call it even, and that way we can get back to celebrating Founder Day. town hall meeting. We'll have everybody who's got a claim on that deed come here at 3.30 and they can state the case as to why that deed belongs to them. So when are we meeting? 3.30. Where are we meeting? Let yeah. everybody go out there and think of how to plead your case and court is dismissed. Oh. I got it, Mr. Howell. I got it, Mr. Howell. We just got a hitching. 
Oh. I don't think this is the, I think this is the first time you've done something like this. simple actually here's where the problem lies first the deed to the town of calico was purchased by ophelia cinch the daughter of peg leg cinch the deed was purchased with the gold from the nugget he had discovered in the calico mine it was purchased after it had been awarded to mr scruff mayfield because his father ox mayfield whose name was on the deed was incarcerated but then mr scruff became incarcerated and he lost the deed allowing her to purchase it but then, Mr. Scruff was released because it was determined he was not guilty of any crime and he was then incarcerated. Now the reason that Ox's name was on it to begin with was because Ma Mayfield, whose name was originally on the deed, he was crossed off by Ox because he had thought she had expired. But <laughs> as we learned earlier today, when she come riding into town on that train, she had not expired because, well, she had in fact not expired. All right, wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Well, in short, the crime wasn't a crime. The gold wasn't real gold. The dead people weren't dead. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, no, I heard it. I still can't make sense out of it. But this is why we've decided to have this meeting. So each party can state why they deserve to have the deed of Calico in their name. Mike. Kenny, call the first party. First party we will have oh, Scruff Mayfield. Excuse me. Howdy, oh, 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 oh. oh, friends. Howdy. Listen, I'll get right down to it. I think that deed should belong to me. Now, as you all may recall, my grandfather lost that deed after he was incarcerated for commandeering Engine 41. Yeah, to save you. Now, y'all ain't gonna believe this, but you know what? But you know what? I've been trying to reform my granddad all year, trying to save him. Now, you might recall that last year I helped capture said grandfather and was then elected your sheriff. So to make a long story short, I was falsely stripped of my title, I was wrongly and illegally imprisoned, and that deed which should have gone to my granddad's next to kin... Well, hold on a minute. Next to kin? That would have been me. That would have been me. Uncle Ike, look, th there's fish jumping in Bigfoot Pond. They're jumping? Yeah. I got a rope, too. I got a rope. Yeah, good, good, go, go get him. Is he gone? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That deed which should have gone to my grandfather's next to kin, 
was taken from me, and I'd like to get it back. Thank you very much. Next up, Ox Mayfield. Thank you all. Good afternoon. I suppose when you all think, hey, stop, you want to hear this, it's super important. When you all hear this, give me a chance. Thank you. When you all think of the name Ox Mayfield, I suppose there's one word you think of. Oh, why limit ourselves to one? Abigail. That word is love. Because I'm a man who's done a lot of bad things in the name of love. For example, yes. Yes, two years ago, I commandeered a train because I love my kids and my grandkids. One year ago, today, I struck my wife's name off the deed to the town and wrote my own name above it because I love my wife and I figured, well, she died, I better watch out for her legal affairs. I didn't die. I can't help that. <laughs> I think that it would be a good idea to give me a second chance. That deed represents a second chance with the town, with y'all, with my kids and grandkids. And if she'll have me, with my wife Phyllis, too. Okay, adios. Come on, more shit around here. Come on, Smith. 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 No, no, let him have his chance. Come on, Smith. 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 All right, next up we have Ophelia Sid. Okay. Put it away, put it away. Why don't you sit over on a little bit more excited today? Howdy, everyone. I'm not really doing speeches, so I'll just make this quick and simple. When my dad found the golden nugget, I realized it wasn't the money that I wanted. What I truly wanted was to make Calico a better place for all of us. Now that deed actually brought my pa some recognition and some respect in this town, and it's about time. Now, I know this one thing, I don't have any money. In fact, I got nothing left anymore. But if you see fit to award my dad, Pegleg and I the deed, I promise I'll work hard every day just to pay each and every one of you back so everyone can keep their happiness again. And that's all I have to say about that. Thank you. All right, lastly we have Phyllis Mayfield. This may very well be the shortest episode of Ghost Town Live I've ever filmed. Which is why I'm going to try my best to make this as long as possible. To extend the episode as possible. Alright. Alright, let's go. Oh, we're going to go. Uh, 
Howdy. Oh, by the way, Coop, heads up. We're going to have a, uh, we just came from the town meeting. Yeah, what was the town meeting about? Oh, that was for the deed. For, what about, oh, what's still going on about that? Well, because of the, the, the nugget being fake and all, that deal, Phyllis brought it up. So we're going to have an election to determine who gets it. An election. So it's either between Scruff, Ox, Ophelia, and Ma Mayfield. So Mayfields just don't quit, do they? And now they have a three out of four chance of winning. I'll believe that when I see it. Ain't no Mayfield ever won anything in the history of Calico. Except Scruff did become our sheriff. Well, to be fair, you weren't here. For a very brief moment. Yeah, you... That was gone. As but to be fair, most of the time you were not here. Well, ain't nothing happening on my watch. Especially with the no good work with me. All right. That's what we're going about the election. We got a, we have a scoop busy. We just came from the town hall meeting. Mm -hmm. We're to determine the deed, who gets it. We're having an election. That's what I heard. It's very exciting. Yep. We have a sorry. Oh. Well, I just, we just came from the town hall meeting, Ms. Violet. Oh, what happened? Oh, we're going to try and figure out who owns the deed of the town. Oh. Because of the nugget being fake. Oh, I suppose that does sort of nullify Peg Leg's claim, don't you? Yeah, think? so now we're going to have to, uh, an election to decide it. Who are you going to vote for? I don't know. I still got time to decide. It is a tough decision, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's between Scruff, Ox, Ma Mayfield, or Ophelia. Oh, my goodness. So the Mayfield... Four people and the Mayfields have a three-fourth chance. Oh, right. Three-fourths of a chance. We had an election. That's rough. I'm sure. Everybody knows. Oh, I need to try. I need to try. y'all can read it. Four forty-five. All right, here we go. All right, before the election starts. We're going to try our best to get on uh, a theorized throughout our show today, throughout today's show. So, what we're going to do, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get on the Calico Mine ride right now. We're going to get on that ride right now. <laughs> and if the line does die down a little bit, oh my god, it, we're going to hopefully get on the... Uh, the I doubt it. I doubt it's going to go on. I doubt we're going to get on that. So I'm going to try and go to the hour minimum. The hour minimum, which I am pretty much doubtful if I'm going to get to that mark. But if we're going to work, I can try and find another one I can do. Hopefully. Alright, so, what I'm going to do, let's go inside, down with the mine. I'll maybe tell you what, I'll maybe I'll do one more, one of each. Yeah, let's do one of each. Okay, we're going to do two rides on the mine train, two rides on the big train. There we go. That's what we're going to do. Drink it, smoke it, or a 
shit photography. Feel free to take as many pictures and videos as you like. Make sure to turn off the flash, but that's a good one. Go all the way. Push me to the side. Thank you. Let's go. Step Welcome, folks, to the Calico Mine. Please make sure to remain seated at all times. There is no eating, drinking, smoking, or flash photography. With that being said, all aboard. Let's get started. Well, how do you folks? The name's Powder Cake Peg, and we're moving on into tunnel number one of the Calico Mine. Be too careful in this here mine, folks. Remember, one stray spark and you all get lost into Kingdom Come.
briefly and then we'll try and get on the train uh, I can so I can try and get this video to an hour minimum an hour minimum so we're gonna make the side cabin and it's good news for me the question is how long do we have to wait Wait. All I need is three more players. Three more players. Run them. Big roots. Who doesn't want to throw? Oh, wait a minute. That's the exit. I'm going this way. Oh, either way, we're going. So, either way, we're going to get some. Oh, wait a minute. Why don't we wait right here, cuz? Here comes Sky Cabin. Here comes Hang Time on the uh, orange train. Now to drop. And there we go. That's all I can see. Alright, let's do a quick ride here on Sky Cabin, real quick. Then try and get on the Calico train. You guys are saying, are you, are you getting desperate to get this over to at least an hour? Uh, I'll say, yes, I am. I know last week's episode will probably reach that hour minimum. Maybe because I did that to uh, die right time, right, right time stuff here. Today we're gonna try to stop that. Alright, 
looks like he's going in. Commercial break. Oh, I forgot I don't have commercials anymore. Thanks a lot, Logan. You stupid idiot. Alright, we're going up. Welcome, riders, aboard the Sky Cabin. We are about to ascend 180 feet straight into the air. While the ride is in motion, we ask that you please do not run, jump, stomp your feet, or kick anything here aboard the cabin. If at any point during the ride you feel the need to stand up, feel free. Please use the handrails. Do not lean on or hit the windows. If you have food with you, please keep it put away as there is no eating here aboard the cabin. Thank you again and enjoy your ride. the train. Dang, habit. Gotta wait for another one. It's alright. I still got time. I still got time. Don't worry, Michael. You still got time. But if worse comes to worse... They're going to shoot off the uh, fireworks on the 4th. For the 4th of July fireworks, we do not know where they're going to shoot them from. We have been hearing them testing. We've been hearing it. Uh oh. Well, it's going up. Which means, are we going to see us? We're going to see a stop here. Come on, come on. I want to see it. It's the yellow train. Okay. <laughs> and the third row's empty! I'm so less than chance of the two. Alright. Now let's take a look at the Coast Rider. See what the place I had my pants are. And now that orange car is in the in trip, and now we're making our descent. So I should be able to get our next ride in on that train. Then we'll do our mine ride. Our mine ride. On the mine ride, then we'll do the last one and then we'll probably be done for the day. Alright, as we make our way down, and I don't know why, but I'm really going to enjoy the time off I get once the summer season does. Welcome back, yeah. riders. Your ride is slowly coming to an end. Once we've come to a full and complete stop, we ask that you please exit out through the same doors that you've entered in from. Thank you again for riding, and enjoy the rest of your stay here at Knott's Berry Farm.
All right. There it is. Oh, beautiful. I wasn't paying attention, but we got pink time again. Beautiful. Into that inversion. That's okay, that's okay, we still got one. for the next train for us to the board. But we will tell you, this may be the only train ride we're gonna do for today. But what I will tell you is that we'll be here for, uh, tomorrow, I'm here tomorrow. As soon as I get out of work, I'm hoping to get at least one more train ride. The second train ride will be carried on over to tomorrow's program. And no, I'm working tomorrow, so it'll expect it to be a, a very short visit. Talking to citizens we haven't seen, mainly the last one, which Hopefully, Miss Pearl is here. You guys haven't seen her yet. So I will be bringing the camera along tomorrow as part of tomorrow's program. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, there's the train. Finally. It didn't take that long. Next full day episode, we're hoping for the next full day episode, we're going to get on the stagecoach. Well, the first things we're probably going to do. There it is. Now I'm going to put this camera on the floor because I don't want to have any, have any spoilers. And I will see you guys when we uh, unload. So, like I said, next week we're going to get stagecoach, the big train, daytime, before the high noon train, where 
Dillard comes in. We're going to figure that out, how that goes, and then we'll see you guys next week. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, let's go. Let's start about you get your brush in it, and you just paint on something, and it's see-through. Yeah, see-through paint. Come on, let's go in. Oh, wait, well, you gotta wait a minute. Gotta oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't think it's a seat on the collar. Oh, please don't choose the seat, the front seats. Yay, and I did that. They did not choose to see that. Oh, I thought you were thinking, I was thinking Cairo. I was like, they're all going now. Yay, I didn't get to see that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. More than likely, that's where they want. Those people are getting it. All right, let's go. This space. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I'll take that. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't want anyone in the shots. Well, considering how full this place is, chances are I'm going to have someone in my shots. Honestly, that would suck, but honestly, that would honestly suck. Gotta be a good sport about it. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Here's your L. Yeah, it's someone sitting there. Sorry. Here's your owl. <laughs> here's your owl. Sorry, here's your owl. Here's your owl. Damn it. There goes my shot. Huh? There goes my there goes my shots. Alright, here we go. Should be gone away momentarily. Okay, wait till the sun sets before you shoot the fireworks off. Come on. <coughs> yeah. Okay, can someone stop shooting off the fireworks, please? Thank you. All right, looks like we're good after waiting. Hopefully for tomorrow's show, we'll hopefully get the second train ride in the fast well, hopefully the second train ride. That's how it is. Now it's now. Unless by some food miracle, I get this thing gets underway and we can get on it before the hoedown. More than likely, we're gonna miss the hoedown.
Lovely, I'm in the stupid idiot section. Chose the wrong seat. Of course. If you are currently seated in the front two cars of the train, you're going to hear two loud whistles. Once again, just a little warning, two loud whistles at this time. All aboard. Howdy, folks, and welcome aboard the Ghost Town and Calico Railroad. The train will be leaving the station in a few moments, so please remain seated, keeping your hands and arms inside the train at all times. tomorrow part of the show to turn them on over to tomorrow. Yeah, more than likely we'll carry it on over into tomorrow as far as they have a bonus feature for tomorrow onto today's episode, which will carry on over into tomorrow. So, yeah. So we will carry things on over.
Here's the route I'm taking back home tomorrow. I'm taking in tomorrow. I deserve to send him in. September. Well, all right, then, ma'am. I need 
need you to pull my face. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? You do that, that's not polite. What? You just said we ain't supposed to be polite, now you're telling me to get polite. I'm confused. Listen, let's go to the next car seat. We can't find your gun. Whoa, well, right, it ain't after you. No, after you. Oh, I see. Well, you're too kind. Yeah, you're too polite. We got the hold down. <laughs> All right, that's it. That's it. All right, ride number two of the Calico Mine. The worst comes to worst, we'll carry this over into tomorrow's program. And uh oh. Folks, today is Ryan Hunt and I'll be taking you on the trip video. Calico Mine, please remain seated and keep all body parts inside this train. And please know eating, drinking, smoking, or flies because if you yeah, can make as many pictures and videos as you like, but please make sure to turn off that flash. So all that said, let's go find our stuff to go. All right, boys! Okay, folks, the best one is taking the third car, folks, third car.
boy, sir, it is hot in here. A bunch of bunkers come digging into your mother, only to be blasted in the face by one of these hot, beaming guys.
Rocky Soul, Lady Gentle Dream. Make sure this built up and hit two babies, then forward the off here, take around the other side. Here's the home now, we're headed down there, and just a moment. Okay, we're going to do it, so we're going to run around. This is a little girl on a blast of the dynamite. So you guys are very careful. Uh-oh, boom. This is something that is like this last time. I'm going to try to beat them to the front. Oh, you guys are very careful. Oh, you guys are very attempted to rob the miners' bank of Calico. I know you know who you are. Now, when asked why they did such a thing, they all said they got the idea from notes they had found around town. These notes listed in great detail how the bank could be robbed. After further investigation from my office, we found out these notes had been left around town by none other than our own Coop Walker. What? Or should I say, Arkansas Jones? What? Alias Texas Jack, alias Mad Dog Walker. Who is it today? Listen, what have you got to say for yourself? All I got to say is that I'm sorry, Calico. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. And oh, Miss Lemon, when I said that I care for you, that was the honest truth right there. 
I guess we ain't gonna get to have that dance after all. And I'm, I'm sorry, Miss Lemon. Oh, all right, up to the who's going. Oh, oh no, hold on, Deputy. That was quite touchy, didn't it? Yeah, I guess. Considering everything that Miss Cookie Lemon's been through this year, I'd say it'd be all right if she had one dance. What do you say, Calico? Yeah. Uh, one dance, you get Walker. <laughs> We will now all learn our fate together. Oh, we gotta find out who very won. important vote and to read the results of that vote, Abigail Dynamite. Yes, it does. Yes. All right, folks. Now, we did have a vote, and after numerous recounts, numerous. the results are as follows. What are they? What are they? Ox Mayfield, where are you, Ox? 23 votes. 23. That's actually not bad. Ox Mayfield. 19 votes. Uh oh. The are you? Where are you? There you are. Oh, there. Daddy, he got 53 votes. Oh, That's actually not bad. Phyllis, where are you, Phyllis? Here you are. 74 votes. Whoa. There we go. I've got the deep right here for you. That's a lot of votes. And of. Here you go, Phyllis. So much, and the dude stays in the family. I don't even know what to say. I just thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. You know, I'm just tired of fighting, and it looks like I don't have to no more. Woo! Woo! Um, now that you don't have to fight no more and all, I was wondering if you've given any thought to taking me back. Oh! Hold on, Daddy. Is this because I own the town now? Oh. A, little, a little bit, yeah. But. Um, also, I want to tell you that I'm sorry, and I love you. Oh! 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 Take them back! Take them back! Take them back! Take them back! Why don't we just have a dance and see where that takes us? Hey, hey, hey! 
Hey! I guess that concludes today's part of the show, but don't worry. We'll be back here tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll do a special part two. A part two. Of course, guys, it's already been posted by now, probably, by now. The 4th of July fireworks video will be up privately on my own channel. So, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. Until then, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow, and until then, hope you guys have a good evening, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>